you two, can you explain me that program? You two. Yes, sir. Uh, can you explain me that program? So, which table we need? What are the attributes we need? Okay, how you are writing the number, employee name, and employee salary? Okay. We have selected employee name and employee salary into from employee, where e number equal to employee name. If employee salary is greater than or equal to five thousand, then you have to update uh, salary, where e number equal to employee name. Or else we have to update salary as uh, increasing 0.5 percent, where em employee number equal to employee number or computer. I want clear explanation from declaration onwards. Yes, sir. We are creating employee mm -hmm. number the from declaration section. What we need to do in the begin section? What we need to do? So how you are declaring the variables means how you are declaring yeah, the declaring using type, 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 type sir. Purpose of percentage type. type. It's data type, sir. Integer or vector or one by one you can explain. Yes, sir. In the declaration part, we are declaring which uh, data type it is. Employee number, employee name, and employee salary. We are we are beginning PLSQL program from here. Employee number and the writing logic inside the begin statement. Yes, sir. Mm, selecting employee number and salary. Where, where employee number equal to employee number. E number equal to employee number. This is E, e number is we have in previous table. Employee, employee table it is there, sir. This is e, employee number is we have created. If employee salary is greater than 5000, then we have to update or else it is updated as 0 0.5. Ending if loop and ending PLSQL program. Come to this. Okay, uh, where you updated? So we just uh, uh, printed enter value for employee one one. Okay. This is an updated salary. Previous salary, how much per loanee? Employee ten thousand sir. Ten thousand. How much incremented? Above 5000 means we should be incremented 10%. Yes, sir. 10% means 1000. Now, 10% is 1000. Yes, I should count. Okay. Okay. P2. Yes, sir. Can you do same program by using notepad? Do with notepad. Yes, sir. I am done with notepad. Yeah, you can show here. Share your screen and show here. Okay, sir. E2. Can you show me the same program by using Notepad? Yes, sir. Share your screen. Okay, sir. Share your screen. I am unable to view your screen.
Yeah, okay, ma. So, okay. Yes. E three. Next, E three. Share your screen. E3, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Next, second program. What is the second program? So we are inserting a row in table and we are checking if the if the employee number is same, then we are making an exception and printing duplicate values are not allowed. Oh. So in, in, in this table, uh, Two rows should not have employee number, so employee number is unique. Hmm. Write a PLSQ uh, block to insert one row. In the employee table, display appropriate message using exception handling and duplication entry of employee number. Use group val on index exception. Okay. Write in a command line. First use command line. Have you used set server or put on? Yes. 
so one is already in uh, employee table so it is not allowing sir where is that message duplicate value if there is no duplicate it is inserting values okay same program uh, you can write through notepad and explain how you are doing that yes sir by using notepad oh okay. you can do it and explain the program and how you are uh, uh, doing with notepad okay okay first uh, we have to write the sql code sir Hmm. Open Notepad. Then you have to write the scale program. Scale scale program. Then say with the dot scl. then we have to save this file with a dot sql extension Yes, sir. Then have after saving with a dot SQL extension, we we have to give at the at the rate and the address where we have saved the file. Then it is going to uh, this is the the run. Will yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Next, E four. E4 Share your screen E4 E4 can you hear me E4 I'm sent next E6 Yes sir E6 Yeah, share your screen. Then I execute the third program. C 
Sir, I'm using an online time. Sorry? I am using an online compiler, sir. Yeah, that's something you can uh, show here. No problem. Share it, whatever. One minute, sir. Sir, is it okay if I share it in some time? There's actually a problem with my network. It and I'll share it in some time. When you can share? Just show me the output. What you have done? Sir, I haven't executed the talk program yet. Whatever it is now, you should share your screen, right? What issue you are facing? V6. So this is your network, sir. Now, how you are connecting if you don't have network? So sometimes your voice is breaking up for me. It's because of my net problem. So no problem. Just you can share your screen once. I can see where you are, how you are doing. One minute, sir.
who have completed their practicing uh, please uh, note down the document and uh, save in uh, our teams folder i created uh, lab practice uh, plsql flight so that is the folder name in that folder you can upload your answer sheets for today's lab yes all of you are getting if you completed the practicing programs get the output and uh, note it down in uh, uh, document your document and uh, uh, upload the document in teams folder the folder name is dbms lab practice plsql5 okay with your roll number you can save your document e6 one minute completed already today only e2 e3 has shown the output e6 e8 yes sir yeah uh, start uh, share your screen practice the program Share your screen first. Okay, sir. show me the document where you are show me the question and explain it what is the question what we need to uh, Write the program here. Here is the program. The question is to retrieve the data from the PMP tables. Okay. Then write the program in a command line, SQL command line, and explain me the program. First, explain the program.
can you explain me that program okay sir first we are declaring the variable sir and we are uh, uh, we are correlating those variables with our attributes of emp table for suppose uh, e number uh, that the variable e number uh, refers to the eid of emp table sir in that way emp uh, name refers to e name and sal refers to salary of the emp table and we are using cursor for uh, retrieving the data from emp table sir so use uh, and uh, we have declared here cursor emp cursor uh, and we have given a name for that cursor as emp underscore cursor and its purpose is to select eid e name and uh, salary attributes from emp table sir now uh, will uh, this is the declaration part now we are uh, starting the program with the begin command so we are opening the cursor sir which we have declared in the which we are de which we have declared in the declaration part emp underscore cursor and we are uh, we are writing the code in a new, uh, in a loop so as to iterate uh, as many times as uh, 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 as many times as the number of data present in the uh, table sir so here we are fetching the data from uh, emp table and that data is uh, e number and emp name employee name and salary and after that we are exiting from the loop and uh, if so we are uh, after fetching that we will exit from that uh, line sir and if uh, the, this loop will be iterated till uh, till the uh, data is not found in that table and these iterated uh, data is being displayed by dbms output dot put underscore line and after that we'll end the loop and we'll close the cursor and end the program sir. Uh, execute the same program by using notepad. Oops. Seventy. Dancer. Do you have a SQL developer uh, uh, software with the UI? P8. Yes, sir. What's it? SQL developer uh, UI, uh, UI tool? No, sir. Okay. No. Okay, right. 
next you have to you have to you have to e6 e6 have you completed e6 you have to you have to next you have four you have four you have four you have five yeah uh, share your screen start programming okay sir. First, can you explain me that program and question uh, are given document, right? First, open the document. Okay, sir. Then explain me the question. Then write the answer here. That means program. Then execute it. Then explain it. What is the question? I'm not getting your voice. Can you switch on your mic? Uh, sir. Yeah, I'm getting. Right, start. The LT and L L and T private limited company main employee information contains employee details. The company has four departments. Any employee working in the company belongs to any one of the department. Write PLSQL block to insert a record in EMP table and uh, update the salaries of uh, Blake and Clark by 2,500. Then see total salary does not exit, uh, exceed 20,000. If total is greater than 20,000, then undo the updates May, uh, made to salaries of Blake and Clark. 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 So, uh, like starting, we have to update the salaries of uh, Blake and Clark, and then uh, if uh, the total salary uh, in that particular in that department is greater than twenty thousand, we have to undo the changes uh, uh, done like uh, done on uh, Blake and Clark. If it is less than twenty thousand, then uh, we have to commit it. Hmm. Uh, should I do the code, sir? Yeah, you first execute that program, then you can explain. Uh, yes.
Sir, uh, done, sir. Yeah, explain it. Starting, uh, we are uh, uh, declaring a variable uh, which is uh, total and then we are beginning uh, the plsql uh, we are uh, inserting an uh, uh, like an employee's uh, details uh, named uh, arthur and then we are updating uh, uh, values sa salary values for blake and clark and then we are selecting uh, uh, sum of uh, uh, salary uh, from that emp table then if uh, EMP is greater than uh, 20,000, then uh, we are rollbacking. Uh, like we are, go uh, we are going to do rollback operation where uh, before uh, we have updated uh, the values. Then if, uh, the, if total salary value is uh, uh, less than 20,000, then we are committing. Then uh, uh, the values, uh, the values which are updated into Blake and Clark will be taken uh, taken into the consideration. Then we are uh, ending F1, ending the PLS curve. Then show me that output. Yes, sir. Right. This uh, total salary exceeded oh, updates okay. will be undone. Okay. That's right. Done. Show me the table and undone or not. Yes, sir. Uh, like nothing. Uh, everything is gone. No row selected. Right. Uh, show me this output by using Notepad. Okay, sir. Share your screen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, done. Sir. Okay. okay. Next, F7. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, share your screen. Uh, I'll execute the, the next program. The program. Yeah, yes, sir.
first can you explain me the question yes sir so here we have one table named as product in that we have four columns sir product name number product name sales and price sir and uh, another table named as old price once more i'll share the screen sir can you see the screen sir yeah so we have one table named as product which has four columns product number product name sales and price and another table named as old price where it has a product number and old sales price now product name is pool 1 if the price of product pool 1 is less than 4000 we have to change it to 4000 in product table after changing we have to update now old price of 4000 is something pool one is less than 4000 no, sir we have to update in old price uh, table uh, we have to set p numbers uh, old sale price that one sir uh, record in the price table with the product number date on which the place was last changed okay Yes, sir. Now for that, I'm writing. Have you created the, the product table and old table? Yes, yeah, sir. I created those two tables. Sir, I inserted data in those both. Now I'm running this program. What in trigger created with compilation error? Syntax error. Where it is? What in trigger created with compilation error? Create or replace. Before insert or update or delete, which will showing like this, sir. Check once.
trigger has not created now say uh, compilation error check the syntax once check the program once syntax is uh, same sir here and there create or replace trigger yeah. save uh -huh. old price here trigger name is trigger one sir before insert delete or update insert or delete insert or update on product for each row sir it said trigger is created but with some compilation errors it is giving warning sir mm. declare sir in the declaration section check once uh, number int type old price is what old now it is created Now you should write the query like uh, update uh, product set the salary price equal to something where P name equal to full one. Just a minute, sir. I wrote some mistakes in this. Sir, I made some changes. Yes. Okay, you can check once this one. Uh, Next time we will see other programs. Okay, uh, whatever the programs you have executed till now, all the programs you can copy paste in your document. Then the document you can upload in Teams folder, which I created one folder called the DBMS Practice uh, Lab uh, PLSQL 5. Okay, uh, 
next uh, in, in the tomorrow's class we will discuss a plus trees okay uh, if i complete the chapter uh, the your syllabus going to be completed but uh, we have uh, remaining lab programs we will practice in the class hours also okay uh, uh, yes all of you try to practice and upload your document in the teams folder then you can get the alternate assessment marks and internal marks based on this okay all right who, who are not practicing yes eight what Sir. happened in the second program, if we enter some duplicate data, a message should be displayed that duplicate values should not are not allowed, no, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's what. But even, like if, even if I enter the duplicate data, it's not showing the message, sir. You use that exception, right? Not found exception. I use it that uh, DUP underscore VL underscore on underscore indexer, which they told to use in the uh, question. That program already we have executed, right? Which yes. program is executed? Se second one, sir. Second one. So uh, now the question is what? Here, what you are trying to do, you are uh, trying to insert duplicate data even though it is not showing uh, duplicate data, na? Yes, sir. It's getting inserted into the tables. Okay. Uh, that means uh, you can use constraint. Okay, sir. Unique constraint of right. Unique constraint we can use, sir. Yeah. Okay, sir. F7. Uh, Try to resolve that uh, error, okay? Yes, and sir. upload and uh, all of you upload your document in your team's folder, okay? There's a time up. Uh, we'll see in the next class, okay? Thanks for uh, listening this session. We will meet in the next session. Thank you.